G'day everyone, Ollie here. We're on a Primal Pursuit mission. Plan of attack is to go on a solo overnighter. I'm gonna go camping on the beach, but first we're gonna go get dinner. So aim is to get some fresh scallops. The scallop season's just opened, so yeah, get a feed of scallops. And um, if I can see anything, I uh, might go hunt for some crayfish to add to the, add to the feast later. So yeah, we're turned on, let's rip into it. So guys, we're going to beach launch today. Bit soft sand out there, but nothing the Suzuki Jimny can't handle, so it should be a breeze. Just getting the wetsuit on. If you need some good lubricant to get these open cell wetsuits on, I highly recommend Octacool. Um, it's seaweed based lubricant, so none of that harsh, nasty chemicals, um, especially if you're sitting in this wetsuit for hours on end, and like me, pretty much every week. So yeah, get something natural, um, dishwashing liquid, that stuff, cut it out, not good for you. All right, wetsuit on. Get up, got all my dry stuff in the dry bag, got my red bands, chair, you name it, we've got it all. So yeah, I've even got a fishing rod again. <laughs> Might try a bit of night fishing if I uh, don't get too lucky on the, um, the crayfish or something. So it's going to be awesome. Can't wait. We've got mint weather, so let's get out there. Right guys, I've just boosted across to um, a spot here on this harbour. I'm in a harbour today, so we're looking for scallops. Um, in a harbour, generally you'll find them on banks, on the sandbanks. Um, they can be right out in the middle, near channels, all over the place. Um, or if they haven't been pillaged by everyone, um, you can find them quite close up on, on certain beaches and bays. So um, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the water is that green i don't know if you can see that probably about 20 centimeters of us it is it is bad but sometimes it can clear up just on the bottom so fingers crossed we have um you know half a meter viz and i should be able to find some scallops hopefully so i'm going to try a new spot today to start off with we're just about nearing low tide so nice shallow diving gonna bomb down onto a, a new sandbank and see if i can find any if not i'll go back to my usual spot but i did dive that last week and they had you know dredge marks and everything it's just been decimated so hey fingers crossed they ban that um, bottom dredging soon and um, there'll be plenty of scallops and stuff like that for everyone and anyways enough jibber jabber I'll go get in there and um, let's see if we can get some scallies for dinner
guys. Got one scallop. Nothing much going on here. I can't get onto the patch, so we'll go back to my usual spot. Try and pick up a few there. I'm just scanning the bottom here, looking for the white frilly bits of the scallop emerging from the sand. It's very soft, soft sand, so the scallops are sunk in, hidden quite well. But I'm starting to find them. Awesome. Alright, it's done to find them. Heaps of small ones, so they'll go back, but that's a nice scallop. Awesome, so once you get on a scallop spot, try and stay in that area if you can. I'm lucky the tide's not pushing right now, so yeah, sweet. All right, got about six scallops now. Awesome, that's already dinner. Alright, I'm on them. Some beautiful big scallops here, awesome. Oh well guys that was really successful. <sighs> Got some really nice scallops here. Some real big things, look at that, it's just full up my hand. It's it's a it's a big scallop, so yeah, beautiful big scallops. Got my 20 here, it's the limit, and um yeah, I'm stoked, couldn't be happier. and very green but hey we'll jump in um, and have a bit of a look if we can't it's all good we've got scullies and uh, a few other trees to add to it so let's get in the water the harbour is horrible it's so dirty i've never dove in it in such disgusting conditions but i know a few spots and get onto them without getting smashed around by the surge, I might be able to pull out a crayfish. I really want one. Determined. Oh, can't see much. Up and down, up and down, and I finally find the crack I've been looking for. And sure enough, there's quite a few crayfish in here. Unfortunately, just a bit too small, not quite big enough. I'm on them though, there must be a legal one somewhere. Oh, I've actually found some crays. They're all small. Might be a big one in here.
Definitely small. Well, that was nasty, <laughs> as expected. I can't believe I actually found some crays in there. Unfortunately, all too small. There's about six or eight of them, a little nest. Um, couldn't find the, the mum or dad nearby, so all good. Um, I might try one more spot um, where I found crays before, um, see if we've got any better viz. Um, yeah, otherwise, we'll cruise in, find a nice bay to park up in for the night, and uh, set up camp. So, one last crack. Well, new spot seemed to be even worse than the other. Very surgy, swirly, currents pushing, filthy, really fun diving. <laughs> Anyways, I was determined. I wanted a crayfish for a dinner, so down I go. Looking around, some awesome bright sponges and corals. Very cool place. I've almost given up, but I make myself keep going and finally, after searching and searching, I come around the face of this rock and I see a crayfish here. He looks a good size, so go in for the grab. Sweet. Looks marginal, I'm going to have to measure it, but I've got a, a decent crayfish. Oh yeah, woo hoo hoo! There we go, legal! Haha, <laughs> sweet, got him! Oh, far out guys, that was the craziest cray diving I've ever done. That is, that is rough in there. Washing machine and uh, you saw the footage, you can barely see the end of my arm. It's horrible, horrible, but um, I can't believe it. Managed to get this crayfish. Got my cray. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. Got a crayfish. Got our fresh scullies, so yeah, I'm just gonna get out of this chop. It's starting to get real rough here, and um, yeah, let's go, let's go find the beach for tonight. All going to plan so far. Well guys, made it to the beach, nice little cove here, beautiful, tucked out of the wind, yeah it's really nice and sheltered so I'm just going to anchor the boat up um, and just up there, a little grassy area we can set up the camp for tonight. If you um, are regular on my channel you may have seen the last time I camped here so if not, I'll leave a link up there. Another awesome little video to check out. But here we go, guys. Look at this. Stunning. I'm starving, so let's get all the gear up there and let's get set up. Scullies and crayfish for dinner. Woohoo! Got 
can see that tide is pretty far well out now. Look at that big drop off down there. That's going to be quite fun fishing to that tonight, I think. Let's get this right up here. Dig that in. I'll get some more wood and stuff on there. Make sure that's securely anchored. Beach to myself. It's gonna be a beautiful evening. Awesome. Oh, it's gonna be good. Plenty of driftwood around. Pine cones. Get a nice fire going later. All right. I think I just camped up in here last time. Just tucked in a little pot out here. Here's some nice soft sand, I reckon that's me. All right, got my gear there. Got a little dinner station set up here. We'll go gather some driftwood soon. Pine cones to get the fire ready for tonight. Um, but first up, let's get this wet set off. Um, yeah, let's get warm. All right, suit off, it feels better. Let's go gather some um, driftwood and get that fire ready. Just trying to figure out where that wind's coming from. <laughs> Last time the smoke was just billowing into my tent all night. It wasn't the most fun, but um, it's all over the place. We'll have to try and get lucky. Get some real dry tinned up. Uh, piling all that in there everything's nice and dry at the moment which is good now we just want a few pine cones and bark that'll go good something's dead there it's the wing left over a few pine cones just leave those there plenty of wood just all this driftwood just goes right along that beach so um plenty of firewood for tonight which is awesome it's gonna get a bit cool later it's definitely gonna cool off so be nice and warm next to the fire can't wait it's my favorite part of the camping eh? just getting that fire lit sweet so that fire is gonna be ready to go i do want to cook my crayfish over the fire i've got my little grill plates so i don't really want to cook that on driftwood i try to avoid that um you can look it up but it's quite um, toxic cooking off, off driftwood. Um, have a bit of a Google if you're unsure. So I'm gonna hunt up here. There's some nice big Pahutakawa trees, all sorts. We'll see if we can find some actual normal timber and um, that'll give it a beautiful flavor to cook on anyways. There's actually a little Manuka tree up here. That'll be beautiful. Sweet spot for tonight. I think this is Manuka. I always get confused, eh? There's a few that look similar. Oh, all I can smell is salt. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are Manuka trees. So I might grab a bit of a fresh branch of that and that will give it some beautiful flavor when we get that cray cooking. I might just grab some of these more dead branches. Maybe a bit of fresh stuff, mix it up. Right, here's a couple of good hunks of Hurukawa. That should be plenty once I break these down and uh, get that cray cooking. It's not a big cray, so it should cook up pretty quick. <sighs> Getting so excited. Crays and, crays and scallops for dinner. Pretty lucky. All right. Leave those there. Cool, fire's ready. Next on the agenda, get my sleeping quarter set up, get the tent up. A little bush buck two man tent. It's um, perfect for these little missions, so let's uh, get, that, get that ready.
All right. Tent set up. Right, we're not going to sleep rough. This thing's a winner. Blow up mattress. Got our bag, which turns into the pump. Clip that in, and we're just going to blow down this chamber. Blows that up real easy. Cool, sleeping bag. Got our bed sorted, got the fire ready to go. Must be time to have a beer. <laughs> no, I forgot, I forgot the cold beers, eh? But I did have some whiskey in the car, so I've got a bit of a whiskey uh, to sip on later, fireside, it's all good. Right, let's chuck some scallops. So, here's our beautiful scallops. Nice, big, fat scallies. I'll show you how to shuck them, if you don't know already. This is my technique. Everyone's got their own techniques. Some people hold them flat down. Others have the flat but facing up. I prefer flat down. Get the knife into this little side corner here. Slide it in. And I keep the pressure down on that base, on the flat side of the shell. In, and just one kind of motion slide along that base it slices that muscle off the flat side of the shell we're left with all the ingredients inside then it's just a case of cutting off that poot slide under that muscle we can rip that out rip all the eyes all that guts off rip that frilly bit off that's got toxins in it i believe if you want to get very fussy you can squeeze this little poo tube there, get the poo out and squeeze the row, get the piss tube out but basically we're left with a really nice big fat scallop and that's actually looking in really good condition nice big white on it, beautiful rows in alright condition, can't complain there's one scully Wow, this one's in incredible condition. Look at that. Nice, big, fat row. Wow, amazing. Pull all that out. See the guts that stays there. I like to get rid of the poo tube. Just squeeze that out. Not too worried about the rest, but that is just melting your mouth. Across there, under the muscle, get behind there, separate that, it's that easy. Now I like to cook my scallops up in a bit of butter and salt, sometimes a bit of garlic, but uh, can't go past having a raw one as well, they're just so sweet and creamy. So let's have a uh, taste. Right, I'll just give that a quick rinse. This is going straight in the mouth. Mmm. Wow. My favourite. Scallops and oysters. We've got the row here. I'm not really a fan of the raw row, but I'll cook that up later, so chuck that with our other scallies. Right, I'll process the rest of these scullies. And we've got our nice crayfish to add to that later. Woohoo! All going well. I've just prepped all these scallops and I just can't wait. I'm so hungry, so we're gonna get that fire going ASAP and uh, let's get cooking. Look at these beautiful scallops. 
good row, good big whites on them, stunning. Got my crayfish here, I've just split that in half and uh, we'll just leave all that guts and stuff in there, that's all the flavour, good stuff. So, got a bit of garlic and butter on there, same for this and uh, get it cooking. Suns are starting to creep down there really, so perfect timing. Boat's anchored up there, he's happy, good to go. Fires away. All right, we've got a bit of heat in this fire now, looking good. So, I reckon I'm gonna get some Pahutakara on there now. Almost smell it instantly. The bark burning, it's going to be very tasty. Let that heat up and get that crayon. Smoke quite beautiful, let's get that crayon there. Without losing this good stuff. Pre made garlic butter with parsley in there. Let's get some of that on that cray. I would have sit that in there. Too good. Woohoohoo! Fires away now. Cray is on fire, but it is going to be so good. A bit too hot, but she'll she'll come out all right. You can just see the colour changing to white on the outsides. Once it's mostly white, we'll flip that over. Last grill. Get these scollies on, and feast time. Looks horrible. It's going to be good inside. Get some of these scollies in there. Right, we just want to flash fry these. Oh my gosh, I lost the scallop. Oh, I'll save that one. Just a flash fry. Don't want to overcook them. Just a slight flavour and crisp up. Fall apart, look at that. Amazing. Pinch of salt to finish. Alright. Here we have it guys, dinner for tonight, with a view. Oh, can't imagine this being too bad. Start with scully. Oh my god. Mm. My favourite. Alright, we should try and get some of this cray out. Mm. I don't know, that's pretty good. Hard to say which is better actually. Can really taste that wood flavour. Bit of smokiness to it. Oh, wow. Alright, guys, I'm gonna feast on this. Enjoy it. Just take in the moment. Scenes like this, it's what I live for. Well, <laughs> just scoff that down. Wicked feed, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and take it all in. Um, this is what it's all about, just getting out into nature and just taking it all in. No matter what you do, meditate, yoga, 
how much exercise, you know, mental health, just getting out into nature, the outdoors, even if it's for a short walk in the forest or at the beach, it just works wonders. I'll come back tomorrow just absolutely refreshed, recharged in the mind, and um, I just, yeah, can't highly recommend it enough. It's my scenes. Got a few more scollies there. I'll let the stomach settle a bit, uh, and they won't last long. I'll eat them later. But look at this. Stunning. Touch base later. Total bliss. All right guys, I'm gonna eat the rest of these scollies. I knew it was gonna happen, couldn't resist. They're delicious. And uh, I'll sign off for a bit, I'll see you a bit later. Around the um, campfire when it's dark, I'm just gonna literally sign off and just um, take in the moment. It's just a stunning evening, sun setting, just, it's just incredible, so. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit later. G'day guys, I'm back. Life's still, uh, life's still going good. It's got a nice hot coffee. Fire's blazing. It's real good. Well, I'm definitely not going for a night dive um, in this harbour. Bugger that. Um, but I do have my fishing rod. Crazily enough, yes I do own a fishing rod. Um, it is a... Shimano Bait Runner 8000 D. It's my all rounder. I've caught a couple of snapper on it, that's about it. So uh, I've just got a little squid lure on there. And uh, yeah, I might have a little bit of an evening flick. Got a, got a few lures in here actually. This is my tackle box. Pretty, uh, pretty hard out, eh? <laughs> yeah. Shine the torch around there, get the headlamp in the water, throw a few lures. Might throw one out now actually, who knows, so um, that'd be pretty cool, squid for breakfast, but other than that we're just going to chill fireside, do a bit of whiskey, so yeah, it's going to be a primo night. So, so, so. <laughs> been throwing a few lures around. Have no idea what I'm doing. I'm a sparrow, not a not a rod fisherman. But uh, it's all good, eh? It's just so peaceful. Um, yeah, it's fishing, eh? It's not about catching fish all the time. I'd be pretty secure for the night. 
Just drifting around. Just down the water's edge, throwing a throwing a few lures in, and um, I chucked the, the crayfish um, shell, what was left of it, in the water. And I've just seen a little uh, little shark swimming around, a little lemon shark. They're really good eating. Um, it's a nice small one, so I've actually got got my little 75 spear gun. Um, I'll see if I can find him again. He was right up in the shallows, and um, yeah, that'd be mean to take him home. So let's have a look, see if we can find him again. Just right in here. Right, I'll try and get something else to um, lure him in. Oh, we're on, guys. Got something on. Don't know what, but I, think I lost it. No, we're on, we're on. We're on, guys. Yeah, we've got something. Might be a snapper. Oh yeah. <laughs> Exciting. Woohoo. Alright. Oh it's nodding away. Might be the shark, eh? Alright. Oh, can I run? Woohoo! Not happy. Woohoo! Time that drag up a bit. Must be the shark. Yeah, I've got it. I've got the lemon shark. Awesome. Beautiful. Look at this. No dogfish. Woohoo! Got my lure. Alright. Cool. There he is. This is a little fella that was feasting on my craze. Really nice eating. Little spotted dogfish. <laughs> there we go guys. Got got him. So um yeah, I've actually run out of seafood at home and out of fish, so um I'll take him home and crumbed up, make some burgers tomorrow mean. <laughs> Alright. Well guys, we're in bed, had an awesome evening just chilling fireside, stomach's full of fresh uh, scallops and crayfish, so yeah, had a had an awesome, awesome evening. Lights out, have a good sleep, um, weather's good, no rain at this stage, had a light drizzle before, so yeah, should be all good, nice and comfy and warm, catch you in the morning. Sunrise, boat's still there. Hey guys, had an alright sleep in the tent. Just a classic tent sleep. Not that bad, not that good. But just woke into this awesome sunrise. Another cracker of a day. Tent held out, we had a bit of rain last night. Nice and dry and warm in there. It's pretty nippy, it's about six degrees. Um, <laughs> so, might chuck the beanie on. I don't think I'm gonna get back in the water. Let's have a quick coffee um, and see if I can uh, convince myself to get back in.
all got a seal just out here. Looks like he's coming in. This bay for a, a breaker or a, I'm not sure if he's feeding. Just about where my finger is. Where is he gone? Let's go here in the middle. Not sure if the GoPro will pick him up. Quite a few seals around. Um, I try not to dive where the main seal colonies are. You're definitely playing with fire with the sharks then. Uh, there are great whites in this harbour. Uh, in a lot of harbours around New Zealand actually. People always ask me, am I afraid of sharks and all that stuff. Uh, one of the most common questions but no I'm not. But yeah, if I can minimise risks in some situations, yeah I will. So I'm not going to be put off diving this harbour just because there's great whites in it. But I will be careful. I'm swimming right up close to the rocks most of the time. At the end of the day, <laughs> if I get chomped by a shark, it'll be a bit better than getting hit by some shit driver on the road. I'm not scared of dying, um, that's probably why I'm not scared of sharks. I'm scared of snakes and spiders and shit like that, that's why um, New Zealand's a good home for me, we've got nothing like that. Well guys, campsite's cleared, got a coffee in my stomach. It's a beautiful day, but uh, I've had my feet of scallops. It's not exactly fun diving in a, in a filthy harbour, so we've got to cruise home. Hope you enjoyed that little adventure and inspired some of you guys to get out there and, and do similar, do the same. Can't highly recommend it enough, as mentioned last night. So yeah, get out there, get into some nature, grab the tent, stay overnight somewhere and um, yeah, you'll feel much better for it. Anyways, cheers for watching. If you want to support me and my channel, my merch, promobpursuit.co.nz, link in the description. Share it around, inspire some other people to get out there. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and you want to see more. And we will see you on the next Promo Pursuit mission. Cheers. <laughs>